Hi, my name is David Ong. I'm a magician, and have you heard of a show called Fool Us? Whether you have or not, I'm going to tell you five facts about the show that you may not know about. And、uh, no, I didn't buy this for this video.、Uh, it was my son's fifth birthday, so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone by using this again. Yes, I don't think that statement is right. Anyways, I'll make this follow the way. As a magician, a lot of people ask me if I've seen the show and my thoughts on it. And there's so many interesting little tidbits of information that they normally don't know. So here they are in no particular order. Number one, Penn and Teller wanted to create a show that showcased magicians and their act. However, this wasn't interesting enough for TV producers, so they proposed the idea of trying to guess how the magician did their act. And if they got it wrong, then they would win, thereby making it a contest show. And that's pretty much how the show was born. What did the magicians win? Well, they win a spot to perform on the Penn and Teller show in Las Vegas. However, I think a lot of people seem to have forgotten this and just enjoy the magic, which is what Penn and Teller wanted to begin with anyway. Number two, Penn and Teller have no idea who's going to be on the show until they step on stage for filming, which means when all these magicians come to Vegas and they bump into Penn and Teller, or、well, they can't tell them they're going to be on the show. This keeps the competition aspect of the show alive and gives the magicians an edge, or makes them sweat bullets. Number three. Obviously, no magician wants to come onto the show, perform their act that they've been writing, honing, and tweaking for the last however long until it's gotten to a point where they're absolutely happy with it, only to have Penn and Teller completely reveal how the whole thing was done. That's where the idea of code speaking comes from. During the course of Penn talking about the magician's act, he'll drop in words here and there about how the magician's act was done that only the magician would understand and Muggles would not. And now it's time to ID this with the UMD. Some people ask me if I know what these words mean, and、uh, <laughs> of course I know what they mean. I know what Penn means when he says he's going to go see Ten Kai do a pirouette wearing snaps with Bob down in El Cambio Nada. Yeah. That makes perfect sense to me as a magician. Yeah. Number four. You might have seen Penn and Teller refer to a judge when there's a dispute between the magician and the duo about whether Penn and Teller were right. Well, these are the magic consultants, Johnny Thompson and Michael Close. Unfortunately, we lost Johnny Thompson in 2019, but he was one of the greats of magic and a mentor to Penn and Teller. In the booth, we have Johnny Thompson and Mike Close. They're listening to everything we say. Let's see what they think too. They know how the act works, and before they come onto the show, they have to let these consultants know exactly how their act was done, so they can make the final call about whether Penn and Teller were right or not. Okay, it looks like there's a disagreement, so we're going to go to the judges. Did not fool them. Do people actually care if a magician fools Penn and Teller or not, or do they just enjoy the magic? Let me know in the comments if you think a magician is better or not based on whether they fooled Penn and Teller. I know some magicians have edited their YouTube videos so that it looks like they fooled Penn and Teller in the end, which is、uh, a bit weird. And finally, number five. Only one magician has ever fooled Penn and Teller after the fact. Fellow Australian Simon Coronel came onto the show and performed a poker chip trick. And after Penn and Teller made their guess, Simon accepted that he didn't fool them and went about his day. It was only after the show when Teller spoke to Simon that he realised that he had in fact been fooled. So on April Fools, they had a show and they brought Simon on to tell him that they had in fact fooled them. And just for sticking around that long, here's a sixth fact. I'm guessing most people who watch Fool Us catch the clips on YouTube and not necessarily the whole episode on TV. Did you know that at the end of every episode, Penn and Teller perform a magic routine to close the show, which means they've performed over 90 magic routines and counting, which provides us with an amazing back catalog of magic to enjoy. And I particularly like the one where Teller dies. I hope you guys enjoyed those facts. If you did, lightly press onto the like button and let me know in the comments which one of those surprised you. And consider subscribing if you think you want to see more. One of the other questions people ask me is,、uh, if I know how they do their routines, and、uh, some I do, some I don't. But in the end, I'm not telling you how. Until next time, it's not all about fooling you, but have a magical day. Whether you have or not, I'm gonna hurt.
I'm going to show you five facts about the shows that you may or may not know. <laughs> Number one. Hi. 